We're now going to combine our English and metric conversions together. So here's an example where we're starting out with a metric unit and we're trying to end up on an English unit. Remember that on our list, anything with an asterisk next to it is going to allow us to switch between English and metric. We have two options here. We can actually change between kilogram and pounds, and we can change between pounds and grams. Since we're starting with kilograms and we're trying to end up with pounds, it's only logical that we use the conversion factor that gets the job done in one step. So I'm going to take my given 5.5 kilograms, place it over 1, times draw a line, bring down kilograms, and I'm going to go to pounds. Then I'm going to use my conversion factor, 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. And then I'm done with my setup. My kilograms are going to cancel, leaving me with pounds as the unit on my final answer. So now we're going to calculate this, 5.5 times 2.2 is going to give me 12.1. Pounds. Our second problem, we're going to go from centimeters cubed to pints, and I want you to note that both of these are a volume. So this is a volume conversion, and I gave you the list of volume conversion factors here, and of course we have the metric prefixes down here. So this is a metric unit and pints is an English unit. So in this case we want to look at our asterisks again which is our unit conversion factors that go between English and metric systems and I have two options. We can go from gallons to liters or from liters to quarts. Now notice that my metric unit is centimeters cubed so I have to get it to liters because that's really my only option as far as a metric unit is concerned. So my goal is going to be to get from centimeters cubed to liters, and then once I've done that, I can change to gallons or quarts. Either way, I can change uh, whether I go to gallons or quarts, I can then get from there to pints. So that's kind of like the strategy here. So I'm going to put my given 870.2 centimeters cubed over 1, times draw a line, and we know from our conversion factors here that one centimeter cubed is equal to a milliliter. But remember that a milliliter and a centimeter cubed are identical, so I can actually interchange centimeter cubed with milliliter here. So I'm going to bring down my centimeters cubed, I'm going to go to liter, and in one liter there are 1,000 centimeters cubed times, draw a line, now I'm going to bring down liter, and remember, that was my goal, so that I can change from liter, which is metric, to gallon or quart, which is English. So which one is going to get me closer to pints? Either one, really, but since I know I can go from quarts to pints here, I would prefer to use this conversion factor. One liter equals 1.06 quarts. So we're going to go from liters to quarts. One liter equals 1.06 quarts times draw a line, and when I bring down quarts, I can go straight to pints, because I know here that one quart is equal to two pints. So my setup is complete. Make sure that your units cancel, centimeters cubed, liters, quarts, and we're left with pints. So now we want to calculate our final answer. We're going to take 870.2 divided by 1 thousand times 1.06 times 2 equals 1.845. 1 1.845 pints. And that would be my final answer. So it's a puzzle that you have to figure out how am I going to change between the systems and then after that it's what conversion factor will get me to my answer. Let's try another one. Here, we're going to start out with decagram, which is metric, and we're going to end up on ounces, which is English. So I want to warn you, because this, I'm sorry, it's not decagram, this is decigram. And so decigram is here. 
we always, when given a metric unit that's not the base unit, we want to get from that unit back to the base. So your first job here is going to be take your 27.3 decigrams, place it over one, bring it down, and we need to get back to the base. The base of decigram is gram. Between the two of these, gram is a larger unit, so we're going to give it a one. And then decigram is one move down, so that's going to be equal to 10. Now I've gotten from decigram to gram, times draw line, and now we're going to bring down grams. Once you get to the base, then you can finally use one of these conversion factors here in order to convert between metric and English systems. Notice we have grams here, so I can use this conversion factor directly. 454 grams equals one pound. So 454 grams equals one pound. Now I'm in the English system officially. I'm going to bring down pounds and I'm going to go through these conversion factors until I find the right one. In this case, one pound equals 16 ounces. So now I'm going to make sure everything cancels properly. Decigram, gram, pound, and we're left with ounces. So my final answer is going to be 27.3 divided by 10 divided by 454 times 16 equals 0 0.0962. And that's ounces. Here are some practice problems, and in part two, you can find the solutions to these practice problems.